Hi there. Now for this question, we're asked to find e of x, the expected value of x, the mean in other words, for this probability density function f of x. So in order to do this, what we've got to remember is essentially what is e of x. So e of x, remember, you can always check this out in my video tutorials, is to integrate for a continuous random variable x times f of x. And that's integrated with respect to x going between the lower limit, which I call minus infinity, to the upper limit, infinity. Now for this question here, we've got three particular sections which we've got to integrate and add together. So if we just set this up here, this is going to be the integral for this one, remember you multiply this by x, so you're going to get 2x squared over 9. That's integrated with respect to x between the limits 0 and 1. And if we do the same for the next one, we add it, that's the integral, times this by x, and you're going to get 2 ninths x. That's integrated with respect to x going between 1 and 4. Next up, is the last one which is to integrate x times this so that's going to be two-thirds x minus x squared over 9 that's integrated then all of that put that in brackets remember because a couple of terms there with respect to x and it goes between the limits 4 and 6 so just need to integrate each of these terms. So integrating x squared, that's x cubed over 3, so you're going to get 2 27ths of x cubed. And I'll put the x cubed within those limits there between 0 and 1. For the next one, we've got integral of x, which is x squared over 2. The 2's will cancel, and you're just left with 1 ninth of x squared and that is between the limits of 1 and 4. And next up for this one here, into, oh, we'll just put some square brackets there first of all. So for 2 thirds x, that's integrating x, it's going to be x squared over 2. The 2's will cancel just leaving you with x squared over 3, a third x squared. And then for minus x squared over 9, integrating that, that's x cubed over 3, times it with a ninth, and you've got minus x cubed over 27. And that's between the limits then of 4 and 6. Next up, if I just substitute our limits in, when x is 1 here, you're just going to get 1. Take away when x is 0, that's 0. So you're just going to have 2 27ths off that one. Similarly, for the next one, we've got 4 squared, which is 16, minus the 1, which is going to be 15. So we're just going to get 15 ninths there. And for this one here, plus, let's just put a square bracket there. When the 6 goes through, you've got 6 squared, 36 divided by 3, that's 12, minus 6 cubed divided by 27, that reduces down to 8, so that's minus 8. And then you've got minus, and put the 4 through. 4 squared is 16, so you've got 16 thirds. And then put the 4 through here. 4 cubed, that's 64, so it's going to be 64 over 27. Now, if you work all of this out on your calculator, what you should find you get is 25 over 9. That's your... E of x, the mean, the expected value of x.